Good morning, guys. I'm coming to you with a video. Basically, when I record my labor journey, my process. So, um, today is the 21st. It's Thursday, the 21st. And uh, two days ago, which was Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah, two days ago, which was Tuesday, the 19th, I had a doctor's appointment and they said I was one centimeter dilated. But I've been dropping since then. Let's see if I can. I've been, he's been dropping low since then. So I feel like he should be coming like early because it's, it's time and plus. I'm about done being pregnant. Um, I'm about 36 weeks pregnant now. And I am over being pregnant. Like, I know they say at least wait till you're 37 weeks, but he's already dropping down one centimeter. And I'm just over it. So, and then plus my mom, she had my little sister at 36 weeks. So I feel like me being 36 weeks isn't a problem. And um, I have another doctor's appointment today at 10.30, maybe about two hours or so. So I've been doing a lot of walking around the house yesterday. It's a little bit of walking around the house. And I was doing some squats and stuff last night trying to speed up the process before I go to the doctor. So then when I ask them to check my cervix, I can be dilated some more. But I'm going to go um, put some more clothes on and I'm going to walk around my driveway, my backyard. Um, I'm going to probably do that for about like 30 minutes. Um, hopefully it's not too cold outside. If it is, I'll just bundle up. But I'm going to do that for about 30 minutes and I'm going to come into, come into the house and probably do like 10 sets of squats, maybe 20 if I'm feeling like it. Okay, hey y'all. So I'm just coming back to update y'all. Uh, Today is the 22nd. Yes, it's the next day. I didn't come back and record uh, after the doctors or whatever because I was quite mad because that was basically like my prenatal doctor and they don't... Um, they don't check cervix and then i tried to go to my ob and my doctor was on lunch so it was just like no point they didn't check my cervix or none of that get myself ready for this baby i i definitely got my hopes up which is why i was mad which is why they come to my camera which i didn't come to the camera yesterday so i put my baby bags aside y'all see me put the baby bags inside the, in the car all that Everything is still packed up. I'm not taking nothing out because I do still feel like I am going to have this baby soon. So today really marks the day that I turned 36 weeks. So I'm 36 weeks even today. Um, it I don't know, my mirror is dirty, so you can't really drop ink. Like it's it's coming all the way down here, starting to drop. So I really just want to get this baby out. So I think I'm going to take another walk today. Uh, do some more squats or whatever, but I really want to get this thing out. Like, get, I have to get this thing, get this baby out of me. So, yeah, it's about time. And but he's gonna come when he wants to come. But I honestly feel like I'm gonna have him soon. Okay, so I be getting like little. I looked it up. It's called lightning crotch. So basically, that's basically it. Feels like he's like knocking in my vagina, like basically like a little shock in my vagina, like in the in like my pelvic area. So it's like he's punching my pelvic area. So I mean, I heard that's normal or whatever. I heard that's normal to happen, like in your later stages of pregnancy. Doesn't mean that he's ready to come out, but it's just basically just something new that I'm experiencing when I sit up or when I'm sitting down. Um, I, current, I just woke up and I just woke up and brushed my teeth and stuff and washed my face. But yeah, so I will keep you guys updated through the whole entire process because yeah, I feel like it's gonna happen soon. So, Noah, stop being stuck around. Hey, come on now, baby. Bye, baby.
Cause baby. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Okay guys, so this is day three of the journey. And this is day two for 36 weeks. So so this is how we looking. Um yesterday on my 30 minute walk. I experienced a lot of pressure. It's just been a lot of pressure down there. Like it feels heavy. It feels heavy in my pelvic area and I'm getting those little shocks. <laughs> um, nothing really too exciting. Um, yeah, so today I'm gonna be doing my 30 minute walk again. Sorry, baby. But yes, here we go. Okay, check it, check it, check it out. Day three of the journey, but day two of 36 weeks. So we have five more days, so I'm 37 weeks. So let's just see. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm back. This is, if you hear noises, that's the washing machine in the back. As you can see, that's the laundry room right there. But I'm back, um, this is day three. I am now six weeks and three days pregnant. So am I six weeks and 40? I think I'm six weeks and three days pregnant today. And this is how we looking. I really need to clean this mirror. I will do it when I get back. Uh, this is how I'm looking. I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. I done ate up everything. So, yeah. This is me, this is us, me my baby boy. So, I haven't been, oh, I had one real like Braxton Hicks, I think, in the middle of my sleep last night. It woke me up out of my sleep. Like, I was stuck there for probably like 45 seconds. When I had it, I was like stuck there. So, this is about the time where I really do start getting the Braxton Hicks and stuff, so. I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, but yeah, this is us. This is us. As you can see, I have no stretch. Actually, I think I've seen a little bit, but you can't really tell. I think I've seen a little bit. Like, or maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I don't see. But. This is us. He's <sighs> he's this big. He's like right here. He's dropped. So he's like right here. He's like right here to right here. And I feel it. it's hard. So he's dropped. So we just gonna keep on bottom to my baby. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I have nothing else to document. <laughs> Alright guys, don't bother me. I just get off the shower and all that good stuff. It's morning time. Uh, what's today's day? I think, I believe it's January 26th. And I am three, 36 weeks and four days today. In three days, I will be 20, I said 27, 37 weeks, but I do have a doctor's appointment with my OB today. My OB. And see, what's up with her? What's up with my boy? What's up with my son? When is he coming? Because I'm just like, uh, I got 24 days left into, no, 23 days now left into my due date. And it's just like, I don't want to go through this whole 23 days. <laughs> I'm over it. So, um, yeah, I got to go to appointment today at 10.50. It's currently like 8.15. Let me show you how this is how I'm looking. 36 weeks and four days. This is how Noah's looking on me right now. I stand back. We are getting... So, we're going to see. All right, guys, so I'm back. Today is January 28th. I am 36 weeks and six days.
days, 36 weeks and six days. So they, they kept saying 36 and six. So I went to the doctors today. Uh, baby is now measuring five pounds, three ounces. So I'm so happy he's gained a pound. And I'm 37 weeks tomorrow, boom. So turns out I have to get induced so I have to get induced between 37 and 38 weeks. I'm 37 tomorrow, and I'm 38 next week. So I, I'm 30. I'm yeah. I'm 38 on Friday, next Friday. So I literally have a week before I get induced. Um, I, all my paperwork has went through through my, all my doctors because I have three different doctors. So once all my paperwork and stuff goes through, then they will schedule my day next week. Then I have my baby Noah. This is him. This is where we're sitting at 36 and 6. We're pretty out there. I just got out the shower. That's why I'm in this room because I don't feel like putting on clothes. So, yeah. Um, uh, I got the, the GBS strep test last week when I was 36 weeks. And I tested positive for that. But basically what that is, if I haven't explained to you in another video, that's basically like a bacteria that's found in females. This is a natural bacteria. It comes and goes regularly, but it's dangerous when you're pregnant. So basically I will be put on antibiotics whenever I do get induced. Okay, y'all. Welcome back to my to my uh, update journey. I got my little do rag on, little squeak knee right here. But anyways, oh wait, I was like, it's like, oh. all right. But anyways, um, today I am 37 weeks and what's today? Today Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 37 weeks and four days. And this is how we look at Num 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 num, eat it up. Okay, okay, three, two, one. Yeah, doing a lot of this, a lot of this. Yeah, cause he about to come out. I was about to fall. He ready to come out soon. Friday on Thursday, I'm going to go get induced. But I'll be 38 weeks on Friday. But I'm getting induced on on Thursday. Most likely he's gonna come on Friday. Ooh, as you can tell. It's about time for me to take my nap because I just came from the doctors. Everything is good. Fluid, heart rate, but it could cool. Lungs, um, practice breathing. Everything is everything. And as you see your girl still, hold on, still don't got no stretch marks. Okay. Do you see it? Do you see it? Let me know when you see one. Let me see, let me know when you find a stretch mark, okay? And yeah, yeah, yeah. pressure has been going up and down up and down up and down like really high like super high so they gave me the blood pressure medicine and through this iv and it did it it worked a little bit but then it still keeps going up and down up and down i also have preeclampsia so it's just a lot going on i have the blood pressure the preeclampsia the GBS and this hospital is not classified as high risk hospital which if this was a high risk pregnancy and I was going to have to deliver early they should have never recommended this hospital because now I'm getting transported to a whole different hospital 
Um, I'm now here by myself. My child's father was here with me, but he has to meet me at the hospital. <sighs> the other hospital, I'm waiting for the ambulance to get here, and it's just a scary thing. Um, I'm trying to stay calm. Um, today has not been a best day. I've had a rough day. All day, I've been crying. Head has been hurting. Just some things that happened, life full events that happened today, which I do think have caused an effect on my labor process. So, um, I'm only two centimeters dilated. Well, according to this doctor, I'm one centimeter dilated. And I was feeling contractions. Um, but they were slight. I wasn't even felt them, and they were just so nice. Like I was, I wasn't stressed out when I got here. I was stressed out both all day long. So I'm just trying to keep calm. But there's really nothing they can do for me at this hospital. I was hooked up to the little pee machine thingy. They gave me some ice chips. I really haven't ate since breakfast time. I'm starving. Um, my head ache is coming back, so I'm pretty sure my blood pressure has raised um, again. Um, it's my IVs and stuff. They put these things up here because my blood pressure is so high that I can have a seizure. So I'm high risk and. I just pray for the best. I'll come to you guys later once I'm... I'll probably record a little bit once I'm in the ambulance. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, so I know I look crazy because I've been crying. And I'm just trying to stay... Um, I'm trying to stay positive. And it's very hard because you don't want nothing wrong with your baby. I don't want nothing wrong with my baby. Um, the hospital um, ambulance still hasn't gotten here yet. <sighs> my family is probably already there at the hospital, even though they know they can't go inside, but they know they can't go inside, but they know they're going to be there with me. So, yeah. Um, I hope the ambulance hurry up and get here. Okay guys, so I'm here at the new hospital. I transported in the ambulance and everything is going just perfectly fine. They didn't understand why I had to get transported. They felt like the other hospital should have been able to do what they needed to do. But they say if people act like they don't know what they're doing, then you need to go somewhere else. So it's glad. It's a good thing that I am here. Um, I just got some apple juice. I don't know if y'all can see it's right there. Yeah, I just got some apple juice. So, yeah, this is, like, where my child's father and his stuff is. That's where he's going to be at. This is kind of the room. Uh, over here is where the baby and stuff is going to be. TV. I don't know if I can see it in that bathroom. The contractions. I'm watching them over here. I've been getting them, but like I said... Like, I can feel them a little stronger now, but it's not really bad. My back is hurting, but yeah. Over here, my blood pressure. I don't know about that not. My blood pressure is, is down, it's low. So we're on the right path. Um, I'm two centimeters dilated and 50% of face and negative four. Uh, negative four just means that the baby head is like still high up. So after I, they're gonna let me eat. So after I eat, then um, they're gonna start the induction process. I, I'm so glad they're gonna let me eat because I have Aces breakfast time. Um, but yeah, this is me. Uh, I have the magnesium in me now it's like a muscle relaxing so i feel pretty relaxed um i kind of forgetting why i got the magnesium 
I got the magnesium. Oh, for my blood pressure. To get my blood pressure down. So. Yeah. She said she diluted it. <laughs> but. This is me hooked up to the monitors. And. Yeah, I'm feeling sleepy as shit. I'm sleepy as fuck, y'all. I'm really sleepy. But, okay, I'll come back to you with another update sooner or later. All right, so, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to hear me. Because the baby monitor is so loud over there. But when I tell y'all I'm never doing this again, I am never doing this shit again bruh seriously like the pressure is OC I'm not good with being tolerance the pressure is OC bruh I keep feeling the pressure they put this um balloon inside of me to open my cervix and they got this they, get, they got it attached to like a rubber a thick rubber thing with um uh, Ooh, pressure. Oh, my God. Ooh. Ah. Uh, bruh. Fuck. Ooh. Ah. Uh. This shit, I can't be in all the mothers. I have not got epidural yet because I'm not even that much dilated. And the pressure is just starting, y'all. It's literally just starting. And it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm in the bed. I'm just laid back. sit down he's being bad already but I'm going to just I want to go to sleep but I know I can't go to sleep because of, the pressure keeps coming back to back the contractions so I know I'm probably not going to be able to go to sleep I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all this shit hurt literally wait to have fucking kids because this shit is hurting this shit hurts like I'm, I'm pretty sure once i get the epidural it won't be this bad but baby baby this shit hurt okay this shit is not for the week it's not for the week i'm feeling like the week Ooh. Uh, okay, I gotta go. Okay, guys, uh, it's still the same day that I recorded it because it was the next day when I already recorded it. It's 9.36. And I just got the epidural. And it feels great. So, yeah. I just got the epidural and it feels great. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look over there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm going to put her back together.